Did you land it? No, because he's stuck. You said I was a piece of art. You decided to pay my heart. But you colored it gray, then you put it in the frame. Hung it beside other house gray as my. I'm an idiot. Yesterday, Will Scott sent me a message on Instagram saying, Ray, are you still looking for Envy wheels? And I told him, yes, I'm looking for the old blunt wheels for the $10 scooter, as you guys know. If you guys have not seen this scooter, click that card right there. That's the whole playlist. Get you caught up. Apparently, on one of the other three scooters that they had at the thrift store, when I bought the Envy scooter originally, there were blunt wheels on one of them. The original blunt wheels on one of the freaking scooters right next to the one that I bought originally. Raymond, oh my god. Check this out. We have the Envy headset, Envy double clamp. Like, You're an idiot. So, we're on our way to the thrift store right now, and I, I, I am going to be so pissed, so unbelievably pissed off if they don't have those wheels anymore. Like, you all don't even know. The moment of truth. This is it. It's either a fate or it's nothing at all. Oh man, God, please. If there was ever a time where there were wheels. No, bro, no. You've got to be kidding me. Like, when when do these other kinds of scooters ever even sell? They are not here anymore. They're all completely gone. This sucks. So I'm going to look in all these little bags really quickly to see if maybe I'm missing something. You never know. Those people that would have brought those four scooters in at once maybe had some wheels that they kind of threw in there too. And that's what we're kind of looking for right now. And if, if I actually come across these right now in one of these bags, I'm going to freak the hell out and I'm gonna make a damn scene in front of everybody. Not that me coming in here with the camera and talking to myself isn't a scene, but you know what I mean. So I've looked everywhere thus far. I've looked in the bike section. I've looked in the sporting goods section. I've looked in all of these little individual bags and I've even checked in the electronics section and it's not looking good so far. <sighs> Nothing. Oh! We're at another thrift stop. Now, I don't want to necessarily use the word desperate, but I'm pretty close to being desperate right now. I need these wheels in order to complete this scooter, and hopefully I can find some that are in, like, kind of decent condition. Not looking good so far. This is more of a place where, like, my grandma would come here. I'm seeing, like, a lot of toys and things like that, but I don't think there's going to be a section here that is, like, dedicated to, like, any kind of sports sort of thing. Normally, at thrift stores, I can find, like, little sections that have bikes or skateboards or whatever, but this one's more of, like, a knickknack kind of place. Things like this. And that's about the furthest thing from what we need. So, we might leave here empty-handed. Yep, definitely was not the spot for us. If you ever go inside a store and you see anything that looks like this... Run. It's a trap. It's haunted. Run. Okay, so we are over here at Nick Vickers Skate Park. We got Frankie, we got RG over there, and we have Branson over there riding as well. All these dudes came down to get a quick session, and I thought I would come down and join, and Frankie's over here killing already. Dropping in with the quick bar. Let's get a three whip over the eighth frame. Now we'll cruise over, just do a quick little salad, and maybe hey, a... Ryan's gonna a <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> this is why Ryan and I aren't friends. Let me see a signature RG flare. I just want to see one, dude. How about right there? Can you do it right there? Can I do it? I think you got it. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, the way you snap it. Whoosh. Round two, let's get that 360 whip and then come back and do quad. If I land this line right now, first go, you have to trip whip the A-frame. Let's get it. All right. All right, first things first, got to get the three whip. Almost died on it. Now the quad. Got to get Frankie to do this. Oh, that was three and three quarters whips, it's not four. <laughs> Frankie Macias, Macias, M-A-C-I-A-S. Oh. <laughs> Almost overdid it. <laughs> I see you. Line number two is gonna be after Branson's gnarliness. Woo. We're gonna do waffle over the rail, so like from the hip over the rail and then land on this side of the A-frame. And then just like a quick little front D on the quarter and then 270 lip on the flat rail. After that, we'll try to huck a flare on this little baby quarter. That is if I land everything. Oh no, it is currently starting rain. Not good. All right, waffle. Now let's get the quick front D. Oh dang it. I boofed it. You see that? It was close though. For a park rat? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, no, we don't we don't label that, all right? Yeah, you're right. I'm street. There ain't no division. I'm street. Bad. Not as street as him though. See? Let me see a heel. What and bigger on lander. I don't even think he knows who that is, yeah. dude. <laughs> Yo, who bigger on is? 
Poor kid. Poor kid. All right, gotta get this lion second go. Gotta get the flare in there. Drop it in first trick. Gotta get the waffle. <laughs> now let's try to get the 270 to lip. Dang it. It's starting to get wet. It's not good. All right, let's try again. Freaking waffle. The waffle is easy. I can do those every single shot, no problem. But I gotta get. Branching! <laughs> if I land this line this time, I have to double back without this bank. One. Don't go behind me. Don't go behind me. Oh, dang it. Nice 270 lift. Thanks. Ooh. Oh, scary. Oh, I got that one out of the way. I knew one of those was coming. <laughs> Can I ride your scooter right there? Yeah, go for it. Thanks. Look at the difference between these two. These two are completely different. Plus, Ryan has a really cool Tom and Jerry sticker. This one can literally fit on top of Ryan's scooter. Truth be told, I have never ridden one of these decks. This is the 6 wide by 23 Dedean deck. This is the biggest deck that is made right now. Well, it's actually tied with another deck from Aztec, but I love the way that this thing looks. The flat black looks so sick. So let's try this thing out. All right, let's 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 start off with a street sort of trick. Like, do it. Oh my gosh, it is so much different. Dude, street dub? Street dub? <laughs> street dub. <laughs> let's see if I can double tail this thing flat. Oddly enough, it, it's not as hard to whip as I oh, thought it was gonna be. Your scooter's gonna feel so weird after that. It's gonna be toothpick. Yeah. This is what I need to do before I ride in contests. I just need to yeah. get this scoot and then hop on mine. Drop it in. I wanna try to get a trip whip on this thing really quick. Oh man, <laughs> way different. Oh, that's a lot easier, that's for sure. Oh man, I, sometimes I miss chromoly bars. Just bar spinning them is like so much faster. Bar spinning chromoly bars is sick. The weight of chromoly bars, not sick. You land it? Nope, cause he's all right, let's go for that triple up again, shall we? Oh, oh Dean, how do you do it? Turn down, bow legged. <laughs> All right, give me a street line, dude. All right, we're just gonna go with an easy street line. Let's just clarify that. Are you comfortable with hitting this ledge and then the rail? Yeah. A feeble to bar off, and then can you back lip? Yeah. Hit a back lip. All right, it's not gonna be that long, but I'll do it. Oh yeah, that's all. That's all it counts. Just hit the back lip. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Street dub. Street. Yeah, I did like. Street dub. Street dub. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's actually kind of scary. <laughs> These little strings keep hitting me in the eyes. Street up, street up, street up. Street up, street up. <laughs> part, part gold, part gold. Sorry, dude, I had to do that line. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> I landed past the quarter pipe. I cut the little homie off. It was an accident, but it was on purpose, but he understood. Sorry, man, I apologize, but I had to get the line. You run in your mouth like a sound. Like not really, not really. I was actually technically complimenting you oh. and talking at the same time. Yeah, oh, okay. so like. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll take the first half. I'll take that. Because I was like, it's funny to watch him ride that. It actually looks horrible, <laughs> even though it's a real size scooter. I'm the only person that's 6'1 that can ride a baby scooter. <laughs> Doing any kind of 50-50 though is like a joke. Like you don't even have to do anything. You just go up on the quarter, turn 90, and it works. All right, let's see if we can get a front board up the top of the rail, not the whole thing. That's enough for me, that's enough. Okay, so we are back at the house right now. Um, I did want to give like a little bit of a final review of Ryan's scooter. Now, he doesn't ride all the same parts that I do, so I'm mainly giving more of a review specifically on the Dedean deck, which is an Envy deck. The dimensions on it are six inches wide by 23 inches long. So as I said earlier, it is tied for the largest scooter deck in the world right now. It only comes in a flat black option with Dedean's entire graphic on the bottom of the deck. His graphic is actually really, really cool. It's like a dagger so I, I actually liked his graphic a lot. How did it feel? I, I wasn't necessarily used to it but for anybody that does any kind of grinds or just likes bigger decks it's incredible. It actually whips really really well. Uh, as I said earlier in the video I was actually really surprised as to how easily I was able to get the double whip flat around and a triple whip. Like I had a feeling that I could easily do a quad whip on that thing or even like flip quads things like that so I was thoroughly surprised and um, happily surprised when it came to tail whipping it. I don't do grinds like much at all. But if I had a deck like that, I could totally see myself learning how to do more of like a 50-50 grind down like rails and things like that. Not so much like feebles like I do now because I do a lot of feebles and lip slides on quarter pipes. That's mainly the only grind that I actually do. Sometimes I'll mess around with like an overcrook or I'll do like a, a blunt slide on a ledge but never on anything like bigger than a ledge. But with that deck, I could definitely see myself and that's saying a lot, do grinds. Again, that's saying a lot. I don't grind. I don't like it. Both my deck and Dedean's deck come with the boxed ends. I don't ride the boxed ends because again, 
I don't grind, so there's no reason for me to really even use them. But if I did, I'm sure I could lock into grinds way easier and slide way smoother. But again, I just don't ride them because I just don't grind enough in order to kind of take the extra weight because there's not much weight on there, but it's just something on there that I don't I don't use, so I'm not gonna ride it. But I wanted to get that last little bit of information for you guys, just so you didn't leave this video feeling empty-handed in any way. As for the blunt wheels, I'm still searching for some, so if you guys have any that are in decent condition, please put like post them on Instagram and tag me in the photo so that I can see them. That would be huge, it would be a huge, huge help. I'll obviously give you guys all the shout outs that I can on the channel. I just need the wheels so that I can finish the complete scooter with the parts that would have come on it originally. I'm really looking for some that are purple and or green or just black would be super, super helpful, but I know that beggars can't be choosers, but I, I can still let you guys know. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I truly hope that you enjoyed watching me ride with Ryan, Frankie, as well as Branson over at McVicker Skate Park in Lake Elsinore, California. I'm gonna cruise out and ride with Ryan in the morning, so should be a great day, first thing in the morning, and that is in like seven hours. So I gotta finish editing and get my butt to bed. So until next time, I'm out. Later. Said I was a piece of art. Decided to paint my heart But your color